Hello YouTube, Retro Chef here. Back from the dead. I've had a really busy couple of weeks. Uh, it is now Saturday the 5th of October. So, and it's absolutely pissing down the rain outside. So if you can hear it. I must talk a little bit loud. So yeah, no, been really busy at work. I don't know when this, uh, vid this video is going to be uploaded because um, I've just changed internet providers, so hopefully it should be on during the week. If not, it'll probably be in the following weekend or whatnot. So yeah, hope everyone's well. Um, I've done a few trades, um, a gift from a, another YouTuber, a few trades with a few uh, YouTubers, and a very big gift from a friend from work. So, uh, it's only early on Saturday, so I'm not drinking yet. So, Carl, I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> so, right. Um, I want to start... Oh, and a bit of eBay as well. I'm going to start with the gift from uh, a fellow YouTuber. I think the water's actually coming in. Oh, dear. And yes, it is. Oh, bugger. Bear with me. The water's actually coming in, a little a little drip. So we'll have to fix that. It's the first time I've been in here when it's raining like this. So yeah, no, um so this was a gift from my good friend at work, David Murphy. Uh, he works with me at the XL Centre in London. He's in charge of retail, um, stand deliveries and health and safety. Uh, we have a little giggle about that. The rain is coming in. Oh, I did. I did not never, never realise it, it leaked in here. That can't be good. But anyway, before I get flooded, yeah. So David, thank you very much for this. I know this is a, uh, a gift from um, your family. You're saying about your brother, and uh, I hope I don't get beaten up by him. So Fat Boy, Fat Boy Murphy, as uh, David was quite happy for me to say his name. He's given me, gifted me a very large collection of PS1, PS2 games with PS1 console, two PS2 consoles, one to Slimline. So yeah, so I'm just going to go through it all. So, first thing is, got a PlayStation 1. I haven't tested it yet, Dave, but I'm sure they work. If they don't, uh, what, well, it doesn't matter. So yeah, a bit of Final Doom in the old background. I don't know, that could be quite hard to get hold of. I haven't really played it, so I'll give it a whirl after this once I plug up the hole in the roof. So yeah, PS1. With one controller, two controllers, three controllers, this is like a smoked one. Four controllers, five controllers. Six controllers, got another one of these, the old adapters, all the wires for the PS1, and then, I've never seen so many memory cards for one person, so Dave, I don't know what you've got on all of these, so I've got, we've got one memory card, <laughs> two memory cards, three memory cards, Four memory cards, five memory cards, six memory cards, seven memory cards, eight memory cards, and nine memory cards. Why would you have that many memory cards? Surely you'd delete things after. He's mad anyway. If you ever met meet my mate Dave, he's crazy anyway. So, right, and then a load of games. So I haven't been through them properly. So I don't know what's what and what's missing and what's not there. I'm gonna go through them as quick as I can. I don't wanna sort of wanna bore people. So I haven't gone through them properly. But NHL 2000, Micro Machine V3. One second, I've got my other light here. Let's just get a bit of reflection. Tekken 2, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, 
and the Pornikova Smash Court Tennis. FIFA 2001. Second free special edition. Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. FIFA 2099. 2099? FIFA 99. FIFA 2000. Worms Armageddon. Ready to rumble two uh, ready to rumble boxing. Dance stage Euro mix. What the hell is that doing in there, Dave? Was that one of your brother's ones? What the hell? I I rather matter about that when I see him. <laughs> Ready to rumble boxing two. Brian Lara's cricket. There's still quite a few. Uh, international track and field, but it's got a demo disc in there. Two in one, tomorrow never dies and world is not enough. I want them to see, I want them to fall, they're right there. Uh, here with me. <laughs> a taped up WF attitude. I'll put them back in the box now because at the minute it's ready to fall. UEFA Euro 2000. A taped up box version of Tomb Raider 2. Taped up edition. It must be a special edition, the brand tape edition. Tomb Raider Last Revelations. Yep. Cool Borders 3. Formula 198. There's still more to go, by the way, so I'm really sorry if I'm boring you already. Gran Turismo, the first one. Another tape, uh, seller tape edition of Tomb Raider 3. Formula 197. World Cup 98. Time Crisis. Ridge Racer Type 4. Die Hard Trilogy. Just try and put them back together. Gran Turismo 2. Actual Soccer. Smackdown 2 Know Your Role. Worms. FIFA 2003. The last couple. Tony Hawk. Pro Skater 2 NBA Live 2001 Last two, two good ones Time Crisis Project Titan and Future Cop LAPD So that is all of the PS1 bundle he gave me and Dave and Fatboy I don't even know your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> All them games, apart from Dance Stage Euro Mix, I'll be going through them to see if they're in my collection or if I'm just going to bring them back to Dave and throw them at you. <laughs> That's just the PS1 goodness. There's still PS2 and there's two Mega Drive games you gave me. There's so much stuff here. I'll try and pack it away nicely as he throws it in the box. And as the rain pees down. Yeah, so I know Dave said to me he was, he was in his loft in his mum and dad's ass and he was going through all the games and he was talking about a bit of nostalgia and that. So, so Dave, again, thank you very much for that. We've still got more, more to go. Two Mega Drive games I've got off him as well James Bond for Jewel and Brian Lara's Cricket. Hang on a minute. I've, got this, I've put a light up here just to give it a bit more light and it seems to be spoiling it, the picture. Yeah, so Brian Lara's Cricket and James Bond. Now the PS2 bundle. So I've got PS2, which always come in handy. Because I've had a couple die on me. 
uh, PS2 slimline, which I haven't actually got. I never bothered collecting them, so that's that nice. And then we've got even more stuff with this. So we've got the G-Con 2. Ah, oh, I should have put this with the, the PlayStation 1. G-Con 45, so I'll put that with the PS1 stuff. Smooth that box. We've got... <laughs> One controller. Two controllers. David's one, I presume. The pink controller, Dave. I presume that's your one. A dark blue see-through one. Very nice red controller. That's actually hammering it down. That leak stopped now, it's amazing. It's, it's still raining, but the leak stopped. Two silver controllers to go with the um, slim lines, so we've got two of them. One thing, oh, another multi tap, so I've got two of them there. All the wires for both in here, but we've got this item which I took off just to give it a clean and that. This was on the back of the old um, PlayStation. It is the uh, PlayStation Network with access disc with the uh, modem, or if you will. So that was cool. So Dave, thank you very much for that. Full, and then we got a load more. Oh, hang on. The PS2. Oh, that bloody light's doing my nut now. I've got the PS2 um, remote and the infrared. Oh, that light is just going to go down here. That's better. Yep, and then a load more memory cards. So we've got blue one. I love monkeys. Black memory cards. Another blue one. Another black one. Silver one, another black one, and a red memory card. And I say all the wires are in here as well, along with some other stuff, Dave, that you're probably missing. PSP, PSP, uh, little holder bag. So all that stuff, and then he gave me a load of games. So give me two seconds. I just want to put all this back in the box. That wouldn't work. Twelve minutes in. I've only done one thing so far. Why I'm doing this, I hope everyone's okay. I've been speaking to a few YouTubers of late. Uh, Daz Corners to Loro. Um, I've done a trade with him and I've done a few other trades with people, but just where I've been busy, I haven't had a chance to get in touch with you all. So I hope you're all good. Daz, I'm going to try and speak to you soon. See if you're alright. Ocarina Fella, I hope you're well, Carl. I've had a few problems the last week or two. Get hold of you through my mobile. I'm gonna, I'm gonna message you on Facebook later. See if I've got the right number. If you change your number, Mostin as usual. I don't know if you're dead, mate. I haven't heard from you in ages. I hope you're well. I know you're moving. I hope everything's good with you, mate. I haven't spoke to you in ages. Your legendary grub gum. Hope you're good, mate. I haven't spoke to you yet. Ugh. And a few of the newer ones I'm, who I'm speaking to a lot of recently. Uh, Scott Green. Evo Haller Giles and a few other people, Richard Turner, but I'll go through that in a minute. So now the games he gave me. Loads of games. I'm not gonna I'm gonna be quick with the games because they say there's quite a few and I've still got things to show, so get away. Reference Auto San Andreas. International Q Club. Rugby. Tenchu Wrath of Heaven. I've got most of these, but it's not a problem. Splashdown. A lot of sports games, Dave. Uh, as I show a car game, Burnout. The rain is really coming down, man. Smackdown. Here comes the pain. Madden 2003. Madden 2004. I haven't bothered with any Madden games anymore. Carl Woodland will be very upset with me. Brian Lara Cricket. Tomb Raider. Uh, Angel of Darkness. Smackdown vs. Raw, Tiger Woods 2004, Leafus B Underground 2, 
a lot of stuff here, Dave. I really appreciate this, mate. I really do. And your brothers, Fat Boy and whoever else, and that, whatever the bloody names are. FIFA 2003, Pro Evolution Soccer 5, uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, an empty box of Time Crisis 3, as we both know, Dave. Virtual Tennis 2, which is probably better on the Dreamcast, but it's all good. Final 10 games. Pro, Pro Evolution Soccer 4, Tomb Raider Legends, or Legend. Black, uh, 007 Everything or Nothing, Pro Evolution Soccer 3, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, I don't think I've got that, so that's Andy. Oh, uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 6. Uh, last couple. Smackdown vs. Raw 2006. A demo disc. Pro Evolution Soccer 6. Two of those. And Top Gun. So David and your brothers... Thank you very, very much. I will be mugging you off about Euro Stage Dance Mix. I don't know what the fuck's that about. But for free, I can't appreciate it. Thank you so much for giving that to me. It's a legend. Right, let me get a little bit closer. Right, so that's my gift from my friend David. So, David, thank you very much. I'll be seeing you uh, Sunday because we, yeah, Sunday I've got dinner on Sunday night. So, tomorrow. Um, a few. Trades and a gift from a YouTube and a few other bits. So I'm gonna do the first one. Um, I'm speaking to this YouTuber called Giles Evo Haller. I think I've said it right, so please excuse if I said it wrong. Been messaging about um, Amiga bits and pieces. I'm trying to sort out an Amiga and that. You know, it's a bit nostalgic for me. My brother had one, so I'm gonna try and sort one out. Um, and he said to me, "Oh, I, f I used to own a game shop, which, which sounds cool. Uh, I'm gonna send you a game for free." which was Giant Citizen Kabuto and it is sealed so it's never been touched or played with I should say and he sent me a note and it says fan this well, by the way I'm, I'm not good at reading people's writing so just you know fan this smega or something in the garage thought of you not because you are a something but because you like games thanks chef keep it up Evo Halla now when I asked him what this little picture was he said it was a chef hat on a well on a phallus so you can work out for yourself that's the picture he sent me and that's his that's his note <laughs> so Giles thank you very much for that mate you're an absolute legend I'm gonna try and help you out some mega stuff when I get a few bits the next trade or gift I should say, is from a newer YouTuber, uh, really nice man called Richard Turner. Um, we done a trade, he traded me a few bits, uh, he gave me, he traded me Prince of Persia on a Mega CD, which was absolutely mint, but the game wouldn't work. It wasn't scratch, but it just wouldn't work, so I played all the other games on Mega CD, it worked fine, uh, couldn't get it to work, took it to um, CEX, they buffed it, well actually tell a lie, they said they're not going to bother buffing it because there's no marks on it. So I can't get it to work. So anyway, he sent me a couple of items like, uh, to compensate for that. We didn't have to, but he did, which was nice of him. And I sent him uh, two games, which he, which he probably uh, he'll do his own video about it. But he's put, um, Hi Lee, sorry about the last game. Hope these help you on your way. Keep up the great vids on your channel and hope uh, you are well. All the best, mate. Richard. So Richard, that's your note, I'll be keeping that with the rest. The two games he gifted me. One of them I didn't even know was on the Super Nintendo, so it's always a you know a bonus. Was Lord of the Rings. Obviously the um, great film and book. So I haven't even played that yet, so I don't think it's any good. And the Nest Classic, Excite Bike. So thank you, Richard, legend. Uh, if I can do the old thing down there, I'll do it, but his name is Richard Turner. Really nice man. Nice videos, you know, starting up's good good for him. Now the next one, the next trade 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 of a tribute, yeah, it was a trade actually, yep. Yeah, is my good friend Scott Green. We've only spoken on the phone once, which was quite interesting. 
And um, we've done a few trades, a few Mega Drive bits he was getting rid of, uh, and I'll send him some PS2 bits and pieces. So I'll send him two other games, and I'm sure he'll do his own video. But he put a note. Hope you're good, Lee. I've used half a roll of brown tape just for you. Now, he, he used so much tape on this box, it wasn't even funny. I couldn't even get it off. And I, now I know the pain of when I wrap them up. Here's a couple of goodies you uh, may or may not be interested in. If not, train on, etc. Cheers, Scott. So, Scott Green, thank you very much. He gifted me uh, Bart vs. Uh, Simpsons, Bart vs. the Space Mutants on the Game Gear. Uh, Grand Slam Monsters on the Amiga. Nightbreed on the Amiga, which is a very good game, remember that? And the box for Silly Putty. So thank you. The two games I wanted off him was Super Hydra Lee, if I said it right. Hydra Lee, Hydra. And T Tiny Toons, Buster's Hidden Treasure. The two games I wanted off him. So thank you, Scott. You're a legend. Hope you're good, mate. I'm going to try and speak to you again soon. I've been really busy. I'm going to be more busy. Still peeing down. The next trade is with a very good friend of mine. We all know him, he's all our friend. That is Daz Cojones Doloro. Golden Balls, Golden Bollocks, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> um, I gifted him, we traded for a few bits, and I sent him in, I sent him something else. Um, wasn't really in the trade, but um, he's a good friend, you know. I've got a couple of them, so I'm sure he'll do his own video. Um, so, Dave, uh, Dave. So, Daz, I hope you enjoyed the games and that, mate. So, I'm going to try and speak to you this afternoon or whatnot. But, yeah, so we traded a few bits. So, I'm sure he's going to do a video. So, and I've got a theme virtual cop with the gun in the box. Now, I've got the game and I've got the gun already, but I wanted the box just to make it a bit more mint. So, it's all in there, which is lovely. Thank you, thank you very much, Daz. That'd be good. I'll speak to you later. Um, one, two, three more. Yeah, three more things. Uh, I've been going on about my friend Lee, who comes car booting with me, which I haven't been recently because he's been busy and obviously it's raining today, so I doubt I'll be going tomorrow anyway because I'm, I'm plus I've got work. But um, when he does go car boots and he sees bits and pieces, he messages me what he's got. Um, and he sent me a list of games he got, and uh, he done me a great deal. So I've got all these games for 20 quid, and he threw in a few couple of bits for free. So the first thing I've got off uh, Lee, so Lee, I hope you are, mate. Uh, I haven't seen you recently, so uh, I hope I'll speak to you soon or see you. Pokemon Ranger on a DS, Shadows of Alma. I am probably said it wrong, so... Kahana's Laura. Uh, sorry, Ocarina Fella, please correct me. Uh, Adventures of Mighty Max, which is a rubbish game. To be fair, I've played it's rubbish, but it's one of the games I want to get. I remember this when I was a kid watching that. That's complete. They're both complete. This game as well, another you know game I wanted for ages. Um, I've got just a cart only, so I'm happy to get this. It's not a very good game, I don't think it is, but it's a great you know it's Marvel's next man game. That's complete. Largo Winch Empire Under Threat. I'm trying to get this from my mate Grubgum on the GameCube, which is very hard to get. Beautiful Joe on the PS2. They're all complete. Uh, and he gave me three boxes. So I've got Ghost Recon 2. No game. The manual's in there. Halo. And another Halo. So three empty boxes. But with all the bits in there. So that's good for me. This little bundle is £20. So, you know, I was well happy with that. So Lee, thank you very much, mate. Hope you well. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Um... The next thing, I'll, so I'll put a few ads on uh, Gumtree. Um, obviously, I didn't, I didn't get much interest from the um, my trade video on my console, so I've, I've sold a few bits, I've swapped a few bits. Uh, one, I've done a trade with someone. Um, I can't remember his name now. I went and met him. I went and met him Friday night uh, at Top Golf in in uh, Chigwell. I met him there. We've done a trade. He, he, I traded him Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Time Crisis Two. And something else, can't remember now. And he gave me all controllers, but you know, controllers are hard to get hold of. So, one NES controller, two NES controllers, Super NES controller, and two sealed Dreamcast controllers. 
all sealed in the plastics. So I was happy with that trade. Well happy with that one. The last little bit is all stuff I bought off eBay. Now, recently, I mean, I've never really been looking to get box complete games. You know, because I don't know they, they can cost an arm and a leg on some of them. I mean, if I see them and I get them cheap, I buy them. But nine times out of ten, I'm not too worried. But I managed to get the box and manual for um, a game that I got off um, Grub Gum when he traded me when he sent me over the NTSC Super NES, uh, and that was Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So I've got a box now. It's in nice, it's in alright condition. I mean, it's not the best. I'm gonna I'm gonna iron it, or I'm gonna set it to Daz to iron it. It's got the manual in there and everything, so it's all in there. I've got a I've got a cardboard uh, insert. I bought a load of them. That was a pound and a pound twenty to send. So it's nothing really. It's cheap. The next one, um, like Ocarina Fella, my good very good friend, my brother from another mother, obviously. He's doing these. Resident Evil Collection, uh, and I saw this game it was a last minute, um, like a last five minutes bid. I saw it. I got it all in for sixteen pound and three p, and that was Resident Evil Three Nemesis. Uh, I haven't got it on the GameCube, so that's why I thought I'd pick it up. I mean, I don't know if it plays any better or if it's any worse, but sixteen pound and three p. So I was well happy with that. Next one, I got this for ninety nine p, and it was two pound to send. Uh, I thought it was a fake one when I got it because the box is mint and it's like a 1990 game but it's golf on the Game Boy I used to love this game uh, the old Mario Golf if you will it's all complete it's got the manual the little tray everything's in there that was 99p and I think it was £2 to send it the next one I was watching a fellow YouTuber one of the American boys and I was talking about this genre of games, and I actually haven't got any of this um, name or brand or whatever you want to say. And I got this for three uh, pound all in. I think it was one pound twenty to send and one eighty or whatever it was on on the sale. Uh, I don't know how good it is on this console, so maybe people can help me out on here. Maybe Rob Tina Triple Seven or or someone else who's quite well known on the on the old uh, RPGs or whatnot. But that's Fantasy Star Online. It's mint. It's like it's like brand new, really. To be fair. The disc and the manual, which is lovely condition, and that was three pound all in. So couldn't really complain about that. So that's Fantasy Star Online. Next one, um, I remember playing this near the end of the Mega Drive's life when it, you know, when it finished. I think this is 90, 95, 96. I remember playing this. Um, I heard it was a good game, so I played it back then, and I thought it was quite good. Um, so I bought this for three pounds. It's got a little bit of damage on the label, but it is Vector Man. I think this was four pound all in. Uh, it's, it's complete, but it's just got on the label. It's just lifted on the label, if you can see. But I can, I can sort it out. I think I say I think that was four pound all in. Vector Man, Vector Man, Vector Man. Um, That's it. So I haven't picked up a lot recently. I haven't gone a lot of gum trees. I've just been really, really busy. To be fair, at work, one of my chefs is away. So you know, it's it's just busy. Uh, I've got a busy week this week. Uh, replays next weekend. So I'm uh, looking forward to that, trying to sort myself out with that. Got got a job on the following weekend on uh, replay. Uh, I'm trying to get out of it at the minute. It's a bit awkward. Um, it's a long story, and it's just you know, it's annoyed me really. <laughs> Um, either way, I'll probably be back next weekend with a pickups video or a um, trade or something. Or hopefully, if the weather picks up, because I've only got one or two more weeks of car boot, and then it goes on to the hard, court, hard floor car boots, which is not far from me, which isn't a bad car boot. Um, but you pay a lot to get in, and you don't, you can't guarantee you're going to get games half the time. So I'll be tapping up my mate Lee, see if he's got anything good. Um, I hope everyone's well. So I haven't spoke to a lot of people recently. I've just been really busy, and obviously with no internet, um, it should be back on next Monday or Tuesday. They said to me the was it the fifth, sixth, eighth, I think, or ninth next Tuesday, Wednesday, I should be getting it on. So that'd be because I'm going back to BT. Um, yeah, and that's about it, guys. So, sorry, half an hour in. 
So thanks for watching. I hope everyone's well. Thanks to all the new subscribers. I hopefully I'm gonna get near the 200 before Christmas, and I'm gonna do a giveaway. Um, a giveaway. Uh, giveaway prize you know one two or three or something I'll, I'll think of something I'll see what I've got around I can do maybe something nice for them maybe I can come to your house and cook for you you can have the retro chef in your house cooking how's that <laughs> so I hope you're all good um, see you all soon bye for now